Welcome to VR Citizen, everybody. Uh, picking up right where we left off. We're milking this for all we were all it's worth here. We got a Cutlass Best in Show. All right, so we get. I love that scratchy voice. Hangar Five. Okay, so flyby of Checkpoint Station. No, Checkmate Station. Fight back. Even the damn, uh, what you call it, graffiti looks amazing here. Oh my god. Oh fuck yeah, that looks good. <laughs> we should wear fancy stuff more often. Oh, you guys. Yeah? Something like that. Alright, we look great now. We've got, um, very, very, very cool gear and suit on. I think we can now explore Pyro at our leisure. You look good, you feel good. That's half the battle, all right? Like and subscribe. Help me buy a new Omni Throttle for Christmas. And if you do that, we'll be doing a special giveaway, by the way, for the channel. If we get 40 subscribers, Christmas giveaway is going to be huge. You get a mouse pad from Citizen Con, Drake Trucker hat, and an LTI spaceship. If I can get to 40 subscribers before then, well, that's the next big giveaway, folks. So by the Twitch channel and show some love. With that being said, welcome to Checkmate Station. So like I said in my other video, one of edge of this place is just completely covered in darkness. You guys, I played this on a desktop. So just come on and let me tell you. Holy fuck. Us VR players just have it so much better. Oh my gosh, everything is just... I just see everything, and it's... It's like I'm here again. So I think I flew this exact same route. Honestly. In the Citizen Con demo. See if we could try to recreate that. Oh my god, you guys. But yeah, so just going around the outside of the station. I'll make the same remarks as I did then. It is really, really hard to make something look like this. It is very, very easy to make like plain, non-broken, non-crumpled, non-destroyed structures and clean, smooth hallways and actual workable environments. Like, you have to work extra hard to make wrecked assets and make everything look like it's exploded. Slowly going around the bottom of the station. See, that looks like the refinery area. Oh my lord. And see, this is what I'm talking about. If this is what we're gonna get, instead of like, I, I want them to throw out the entire modular station system and just give us custom-made assets like this. I don't care how many teams they got to put on it, but like this just feels way more alive than any of the stations we have except for maybe Alisar that we got rid of. Like every square inch of this is just oozing with handmade and just, you know, it just got love and feel into every bit of it. The modular system is great if we need to make a thousand stations, but I honestly would rather have fewer stations and if they looked like this, if that were possible. And look at that. You see what I'm saying, you guys? This is what I'm talking about. The clouds are literally pitch black. Like, it's scary if you get lost in them. You literally get lost in the thick blackness. Okay? You see this shit? Our lights are on. We're gonna just stay close to the structure, that way we don't get lost in it, but I'm gonna show you how dangerous. Okay, like, this is, this is already too thick. I already don't like this. I, I literally can't see anything. Visibility is literally 20 meters, you guys. I have 
no clue what's in front of me. I can't see. <laughs> it's so pitch black in here. Yeah, these clouds can get fucking dark. I feel like I'm in a sci-fi movie right now, you guys. The music kicking in. The f There's lightning in the clouds. <laughs> and then we look back at the way we came. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Alright, so I'm not gonna... I dare not fly upwards into the cloud. I'm gonna lose my sense of direction. And I'm never gonna make my way out of it. We're just gonna follow this back to the station. What's up? I know you start streaming without booting up my <laughs> getting me out of bed, dude. I know. I did. I thought I'd be doing a late night stream in like wave two or something. I freaking. I'm so important now. They got me in wave one. Oh my gosh! Look how black. Oh, see, look at this. This is just scary to fly through. Oh, that one's all destroyed. These clouds are just absolutely amazing, you guys. I've never seen a game do cloud and smoke fog tech at this level before. So as soon as we... There we go. And there it is, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get in the cloud. I don't want to be in the cloud. I don't like it in the cloud. All right, there it is, folks. Checkmate station. And you can see how thick the cloud is! Oh my gosh. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, screenshot. Okay, yeah, and you know what? I'm just gonna grab like a couple here at different angles. Screenshot, 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 screenshot. All right, so this is it, folks. This is checkmate. So we did a bottom flyby, but this is the actual station structure proper. Starting with the, uh, I believe this is all the um, uh, refinery section here on this little prong. Oh my gosh, it gets so dark out there. This is the center area here. You can see the original Pyrotechnic Amalgamated logo around it with the now station logo of Checkmate. I guess that's the king. And then, yeah, I don't know if... So we got some environmental storytelling that they have, obviously. Now, these rocks look like they're mined out and are hollow and made of Swiss cheese. As if they're part of the, you know, station itself that they were brought in or captured or, you know, mined out. But at the same time, they're intertwined with all this destroyed megastructure here on this entire wing of the station. So, I don't know if these things were mined out, got loose, and just wrecked half of the place. Or if they, you know, were rogue asteroids that collided with the station and led to its disrepair and eventual downfall. Either way, you can fly through. You know, if you are watching at home, I highly suggest if you get into this demo, finding yourself a dragonfly, hover bike of some sort, and then flying through all this wreckage yourself. In VR on a hover bike, that'll be a real, real treat. But yeah, back up, watch out for the debris.
Yeah, I'm just doing a nice succession series of flybys all over the station. Kind of showing you guys just exactly what it's all about. And just the detailing that they go through, you guys. Okay, yeah, hover bike. Definitely recommend a hover bike. You could get in and around all this cool shit. I expect them to make a racetrack eventually. I don't think we got any room to maneuver here. In fact, I'm very surprised that I was able to fit. Again, making sh wrecked and destroyed structures is way harder, in my opinion, than making clean, functional ones. It is very, very easy to not make a mangled, wrecked debris field out of a station and make just a regular, clean, functional one. That old habitat areas, it looks like here. Dude, it's just insane! It's like I'm flying through the wreckage of the Death Star or something, you guys. I can't state you know, just how much fun I'm having. Just looking all around. And again, I did this on a desktop at the CitizenCon 4, but being in VR, I rarely play Star Citizen not in VR. And uh, at the CitizenCon 4, that was the first time in a long while that I've actually done it in pure flat mode with the desktop. Had the Omni, you know, VKB controllers and whatnot, so that was nice, but... And I had a, actually, you know, had the head toe eye tracker and stuff. But that was cool, but like, just, guys, VR. You guys who play in VR, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Comment down below in the highlight. It's just completely different, and I hope you guys get in here soon. The, oh, Jesus. The amount of work that they've done for this entire place. Jesus Christ is insane. Like, my hat's off to them. And again, we're just going to be getting as much footage just flying by, looking at areas here. These are the old docking bays? I think this is where I flew out of? Had to be. Yeah. Someone's about to spawn and fly out there. So yeah, these are the docking bays. I like how those... those all... yeah, those look cool. I like the way that they form on the edge of the station like that. And then you can just see how dark it gets. Just instantly dark when you stray off the beaten path. And you get back out of the clouds. This is a very, very scary place because of all of that, you guys. <laughs> The, uh, the atmospheric effect that they're trying to give here is definitely working. I'm sold. And then coming around to the mega structure in the center here. Yeah, I highly recommend. Highly recommend getting a bike. What is this? Oh, wait, we can't be here? Okay, we're good. Yeah, highly recommend doing this. If you guys are watching at home, get that bike. Get that hover bike and just fly around the station for like an hour. You're not going to regret it at all. Especially if you got it hooked up with VR. Oh my god, this is just a treat. Oh! Alright, we just lost a wing. We're fine. Checkmate station, everybody. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, let's see the last little bits that we haven't looked at, and then I think we'll be able to call that a successful highlight for you guys. 
the graffiti and just stuff all over. Beware. Like, this place just looks amazing. And I think that's the gate that we come out of over there. I think that is. I don't want to go there. It looks all spooky. But I'm pretty sure that's the place. Oh my gosh. These freaking clouds are so thick. Yeah, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. We'll go back. <laughs> Dude, coming out of the clouds, though, and having the station come into full view is just absolutely amazing. This is definitely a high point for CIG. This station is incredible. As dirty as in disrepair and disheveled and dismanaged as it is, it deserves all the praise that we can heap on it. It is just so cool. But yeah, uh, I think that is about it as far as just flybys in and around of Checkmate itself. I mean, again, we got all this cloud cover here that makes that well, kind of difficult to get a real good shot of it at all angles. But I hope that you guys enjoy what you saw. Then, uh, yeah. With that being said, let's get to our next destination and next highlight video. We're going to a planet. Uh, first time you guys have seen this, so... There is a lot to do and a lot to see at Pyro. Um, do we have the search mode yet? Nope. Alright, so... Monox. Pyro 1. Bloom. I'm going to Bloom. Alright. Oh, perfect. Couldn't have planned that any better. But yeah, folks, this is it for this highlight. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for all the voodoo that you do. Drop by the Twitch channel if you see me live. We're going to be doing Pyro all week. And uh, yeah, in the next video, uh, we're going to visit an exoplanet in the Pyro system. Onward to Bloom. Let's go.